So I was playing on the street, like um, in my neighborhood, and they would not give me a chance. My parents would not let me go and play any sports because they know soccer or football in Africa or Ghana is considered differently if you are from a middle class home, you understand? So it's like you have to go to certain places to play if you really want to be good at it. Or you get people come from other uh, countries trying to look for players, talent in Africa. So you get um, college coaches, you get all these people coming back in the days. And, and I remember Liberty was still one of the top uh, professional academy team in Ghana. So they all come there, organize a tournament we play and then they start to pick the players that they want. The way I came is the same way I want to help other people come here. Because um, like I want to break the bridge between staying in a bigger city, you get more chances than staying in the village. I'm from the village. You understand, my academy is in the village. Because when I was in Liberty, it gave me a low chance of closer to coming to colleges in America, getting offers and whatnot. But if you're in the village, nobody's going to the village to go look for that talent. Football brings people together. So when they see your idea and what you're trying to do and help the community, they always trying to help as much. So most of the teachers are the guys that are physical education teachers. So they, are, they love to do this. They just don't want to be left the kids. They don't want to leave the kids just by themselves. They always want to be there and help them. So I enjoy being there, helping them, making sure they have it. They can also make it in football or go to college or get all this degree or enjoy football and also learn so much and travel the world. So I love the fact that they are happy to give themselves a chance in this massive good football world that we live in. So I'm always happy to see them, you know, succeed, get out of from the streets and, you know, be able to smile when they see you like you're trying to give them hope that maybe a lot of them cannot. But look at me from the same village that he is, he can tell of it. If Evans did it, I can also do it. Like us in Ghana, it's not a lot because you have everything. Most of the kids come from the house. So roughly in a year, you spend roughly 10,000 running this academy. It's not expensive, but it is expensive calling 10,000 in Ghana to run it because it's a huge amount of money to raise in Ghana. So here, me playing football, doing other jobs like on the side, you know, coaching and whatnot. It helps me able to, you know, make sure every month what they need, I can provide. We need to provide them with, you know, like you said, food, lunch breaks and all those things. We need to provide these teachers with, you know, whatever they also need, since most of them are doing it for free. Most of them are giving them free lessons, you know, trying to help the academy as much as they can and be part of this movement. So um, it's been it's been hard, but we're going to get the GoFundMe. We're going to set up a thing and try and get a capital as much. Anything is not a problem. Anybody can donate any amount that they want and they will see the outcome. The kids will be in there, see everything that we want to do and help them.